guys, my name is Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my actual name is Amber Marie, and I have been on a perfume journey for the past two years looking for what I consider the best of the best fragrances. Now, before you get offended, everybody has their own preference, and um, I definitely recommend you kind of go on a journey because it's been amazing, all of the fragrances that I have discovered and I probably would not have discovered if I had not taken this journey. Now, I also welcome you to follow along with my journey because it's a lot of fun. I don't just look at brand names, designer and niche. I also look at perfume oils, atars, and baku. Now, today's video is going to be the fast paced video of how I marry my perfumes. And if you're interested, definitely stay tuned because this is going to be a lot of fun. So for the second perfume of the day, if you don't know it guys, I'm going to teach you how to make perfumery. Um, and I do it in what I consider to be the easiest way for people to understand. I show you visuals. I try to use terms that I think a lot of people will understand because making perfumes is fun. So the second video or the second perfume of the day is going to be in this beautiful amber bottle. And if you've tuned in to my two previous videos, you already know that in the amber bottle, I am going to be picking from one of my all rehab fragrances. I've had a lot of requests for pe from people asking me to make one of their oils into a spray, test it out, and we'll see how it turns out. Now I'm going to tell you right now, if these are, well, based on the volume bottle or the size of the bottle, this is 6, 6ml. So most like generic perfume, universal perfume, they do 5mls. So I always go with 1.7. This one I'm going to make a true 2 ounce. So it's going to be pretty close up there. Not all the way up here, guys. You need to leave burp room and what i mean by burp room is allowing for the lovely tube to go in there so you get to watch me sniff perfumes decide which one i have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen so i own 16 all rehab perfume oils and i will tell you just in their roller state they are bombastic if you not checked out this house i highly recommend you do if you are looking for a natural alternative, this is going to be a great company for you. Again, they sell them in a roller ball form. Not everybody likes them in a roller ball form. So I am here to teach you how to, if you don't like it that way, how to make it into a spray. If you like it in a roller ball, but you're quite interested on how I'm going to marry my perfume today, it's still a lot of fun, so stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and pick something. I am, I just made kind of a springy fall fragrance in my previous video. It's September here in Indiana. It's starting to get fall, even though I broke the golden rule on that perfume. I'm going to go ahead and try and find an all rehab out of these 16 fragrances that I think is quite appropriate for the fall time so I can enjoy it. So the first one is the Asil. I'm going to go ahead and smell it. Now, not that it's bad. It just doesn't smell. This one's called Hawaii. Guaranteed it's probably not going to smell fall and wintry. Oh, but it's a, it smells good. Beautiful. Okay, the next one is golden. Oh, I remember these. These were so good. So many people have talked about these. Okay, so we're going to set golden aside. That's a maybe. I'm going to put it in my little container. Uh, Moroccan rose. Some of the finest, finest roses in the world are Moroccan roses. But I'm going to set that one over there because it's a no because it doesn't have a fall vibe. What is this one called? Oh, I can't even tell. So I'm just going to hold up. It's a purple bottle. Now, it's kind of sweet, but it doesn't have enough wintry to me. It doesn't scream. We have Ro Rowan, maybe. Okay. Mm, that one's all right. 
not feeling it so next one we're gonna try is Karini rose again it's probably not gonna be yeah that's a good rose that's a very clean rose it kind of sends on the vibe it's slightly vintagey and when i say slight i mean very slight golden sand this is another one that everybody loves Okay, so we're going to sit that one in the bucket because that one's definitely a maybe. It's very gourmandy. It's quite beautiful. Next one is Cobra. I do plan on getting the entire collection of these because they're quite impressive. Again, this is going to make, be making a natural perfume. No preservatives like are found in the commercialized fragrances. So right now what I'm doing essentially is I'm finding my bride. And you'll get what I'm saying as we go through all this. In order to make a perfume spray, you need a bride, a groom, and a priest. So right now, I'm trying to figure out what bride I want to get married to my groom. That one's quite good, the Cobra. It smells pretty. I bought these a long, long time ago. Did a review on them. Y'all you guys blew it out of the park as far as reviews go. I was shocked how many people are curious about this. Now, this one's Sophia. Sophia's pretty. Again, not really a fall winter one. I don't see how it has an expiration date on it, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. If it's just pure perfume oil, it does not expire. It lasts 15 to 20 years if you store it properly. So, don't go throwing your stuff out. That one's kind of masculine. This, um, hmm, Rhonda? Randa? Okay, the next one is Secret Lady. Come on, bride. Okay, she's slightly gourmandy, so I'll put her in my bucket. So far, I got three potential brides. Sabaya, maybe. That one has a little bit of a floral to it. I do like it, but I'm going to have to pass. Delightful. Let's see if you're delightful. Oh, man. Now we're going to have four potential brides. Okay. Soft. Now, I've heard from some people, Ah Rehab's little perfume oils are dupes for some of the other name brand or designer fragrances. But I, mm, that one's yummy. I don't know what they are off the top of my head, so. We're going to the chapel. This is the one I think I'm going to make because it's called Ah, ah Shakir, maybe. Ah Sharkish, maybe. I can get up there closer so you can see the lighting. There we go. It's in this lovely maroon bottle. Okay, this one's definitely Udi. I like it, but I currently have a couple already Oud fragrances, like Oud Silk Mood, Oud Satin Mood. So I don't want to make another one. I don't want to have a bunch of fragrances. So I'm going to put these back in my box. These are the Rejected Brides. I'm sorry, girls. One day you'll get married, just not today. Okay, so I have four potential brides right here. Do -do -do -do. So now I'm going to go back and smell them again so I can figure out which one I like. Okay, I'm going to put the Golden back. This one's the Golden Sand. Oh, that one really smells gourmet. Why does it smell like... You know what the golden sand smells like? If you like the... Oh, I got rid of the bottle, but it smells really good. It's an Arabic perfume. Um, I don't know. People were fighting over it when I posted it online. Let's try Delightful. This one almost smells like a fruity gourmand. So we're going to set this one. I don't really like fruity... I don't want fruity fragrances in the winter time. And then we have Secret Lady here. Okay. So, we're going to put Secret Lady back. So, we're going neck to neck here, guys. Which one's going to be the bride? Delightful or Golden Sand? Okay. 
I think I'm going to go with golden sand. I know that sounds crazy, but. So here's a bride guide. Da, 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 da. Golden sand is going to be getting married today to Everclear 190 proof. But in order for any bride and groom to get married, they need a priest. And today's priest is going to be vegetable glycerin. And this is organic and kosher, meaning that the facility where this is mass produced is meeting the highest cleanliness standards. Organic just means no pesticides, but you also want to make sure that when they're using an organic product, they're making sure the facility is clean too. So bride, priest, and groom. Now, what the priest does is he's the one that's going to bond the marriage. In order for the bride and groom to become husband and wife, the priest needs to seal the deal. He needs to bond them. Again, this is a 6ml, so I'm just going to, like I said, use this lovely bottle here. It's been washed out. I pumped water through the sprayer, got it all cleaned out. So... The first thing we're going to do, it is a little backwards because typically when you get married here in the United States, the you come out, the bride comes out, and the groom and the priest is already at the altar waiting. In this case, it's going to be the opposite. The bride's going to come out first, and she's going to go on the altar first. So we're going to dump the bride into the altar. Oh, that was thick. It was looking good. Now we want to make sure that we've gotten all of the bride out of here. So we're going to use a teeny bit of the groom and we're going to flush out her cell that she's been like hiding in all nice and comfy. Kind of like Rapunzel hiding in her tower. So I got a little bit in there. I'm going to put my finger over it, give it a little shake. She's getting a little taste of what her groom is like. She better decide now if she wants to be married or not. So, there you go. Bride's all in. Put your cap back on your empty roller ball. And guys, you can re recycle and reuse these. Create your own concoction, whatever you want to do. Again, these don't expire. As long as you store them properly. And it clearly states on their thing concentrated perfume oil free from alcohol if it's just pure perfume uh concentrate it's just like an essential oil it won't go bad so we got our bride at the altar now we're going to get the priest up there for this two ounce bottle this is a 30 ml just to let you guys know this stuff's thick the most i would add to it is about half Okay, so there you go. You can see my syringe is half full. Now we're going to put the groom at the altar, or the uh, priest. I'm sorry. So now we're about to do wedding bells. The da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. The groom is starting to come down the aisle, which is the Everclear. I always do this last because it reduces the need for any math on trying to figure out how much alcohol you need to add. Again, Everclear, 95 proof or 95%, which equals 90 proof. Uh, there's two different types of alcohol. This particular one, you can buy at your local liquor store. It's the strongest alcohol that's on the market. But it's very important that you make sure you get 95%. Not anything below or, not, or nothing over 95 because it's not going to mix right. We want it to turn into a perfume just like you get from the commercial companies. So, this particular alcohol right here that you buy from the liquor store is not been denatured. Nothing's been added to it so you can drink this. Therefore, this particular alcohol sticks really, really good to the skin. So when you, I mean to your clothes. So when you spray... The married couple, it's actually going to stick to your clothes, not your skin. Um, if you are one of those people, you don't want it on your skin. In my case, I used to suffer from eczema, and it's worked out much better using the Everclear versus the perfumer's alcohol, which is the other substitute you can get. 
Make sure it's still 95 proof, but perfumer's alcohol sticks to your skin, not your clothes. If you want a combination of both, you're going to go half and half. So what do I use? I like to pour my alcohol into a shot glass. It's now or never, guys. It's now or never. That groom better decide if he wants to do it or not. And make sure you're not drinking none of that ever clear while you're doing this. But it doesn't make it easier to get the alcohol out of the bottle. Because let me tell you, it's, a, it's almost impossible. So, yeah. Guys, now we got to put the groom into, on the altar. So down in here, remember, we have the bride and the priest. Here, usually you say, here comes the bride. Start singing now, because here comes the groom. And it will take one or two. You see how full it got it? There. Now I'm going to fill up this uh, shot glass again, because we got to get the whole entire groom in there. You can't, like, half-ass it. But I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I'm going to do about half. Um, the most you'll need of this Everclear or perfumer's alcohol, if you're working with a 1.7 or 2 ounce bottle, is a shot glass and half. So your groom should not be more than shot glass and half. Now, when I start getting closer to the perfume bottle getting full, I'm going to use my lovely syringe here so I don't accidentally overfill it. Now, I have this little one here. But I do have like a 5ml, I do have a 10ml, and those are also very handy. The 10ml is obviously going to fill it faster, but I don't mind. So we're just going to keep getting that groom in there until we get to the neck of it. Leaving just enough room to compensate for the tubing because you don't want to have the marriage spilling out. Then that's bound to be a bad marriage. Fill up. Damn, this groom is complicated, but here we go. We're almost there, guys. Maybe one more spray or one more suck. Yeah, I didn't quite do the whole thing, but that's okay. Put it in there. Good enough. So it's not quite all the way to the tip top. Let's go ahead and take his little helping the groom in device. So if you can see, it's, it's about right here it's not up it's right there now the priest has to seal the deal so we're gonna go ahead put our little thing in there you can see it's pretty full but there's enough room for you to be able to shake it so now it's time to officially bond them together for life and there you have it guys that is a perfume marriage that has been bonded and sealed for life, guaranteed not to want to divorce each other because we've officially kept the priest in there to make sure if there's any problems, he's there to help them. <laughs> so I hope you guys have, have enjoyed the way I've explained this. I think it's just a little bit easier there because so many people understand the concept of husband and wife. And the whole marriage thing and the process that you go into it. So, it's a quirky way, but it works. So, there you have it, guys. I will get the sticker off of here. Stick it onto my bottle so that I know what it is. And then, of course, I can recycle and reuse this. I can use this right away, but the best thing to do if you want the, the best is to give it two weeks and let both the husband and wife and priest get used to being married. Once they're used to it, you're good to go. Remember, two weeks. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking out how I married my perfume. Of course, remember, it needs a bride, a groom, and a priest. Unless your perfume oil comes with a skin agent, then that particular perfume oil already comes with the bride and the priest. So you can skip this step. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have an awesome day. And as always, guys, happy perfume shopping. Bye, guys.